Welcome back for another episode guys and you might see this box right here and be wondering what is this gigantic box? So before I actually open up the box and show you guys what that is you might notice something a little bit different right here and also right here. We were able to pick up some Nevada racks from a gentleman in the Storyteller uh, Overland Mod Life group. Uh, he posted them up. We got a heck of a deal. Uh, saved us a lot of money to use on other goodies. And uh, if you have, you know, these nice Nevada racks on the back of your van, what are you going to put on them? Well, for us, bikes, obviously, we have our e-bikes. So we are getting some one-up bike trays that we're going to mount to these vertically. But what is the other most important thing, at least in our opinion? So that's right, a box. We need some storage uh, for my tools, uh, bike helmets, things like that, so we don't have to fill the garage space. So we went to Freedom Van Gogh here in Jacksonville. As you guys can probably tell, we're back in Florida here to finish up some mods, uh, get some appointments out of the way. But they had a couple, two left, of these Backwoods Adventure uh, mod boxes here. And we like these because they actually come with some, uh, like a front plate that goes on here and a side plate. So it gives you more options to mount things on the outside of this, like shovel and uh, other recovery gear. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, get those plates on now and then uh, get this thing mounted up on the Nevada rack. And if you guys were wondering, I am wearing a hoodie here in Florida right now because we have like a two, three day cold front that just hit. It might look bright and sunny, but it is in the low 50s. That is cold for Florida. <laughs> uh, we just came from the Northeast where we were all the way down in the low 30s at night. Uh, so I'll, I'll take this any day. But it is a little chilly. Uh, it's starting to warm up. But it'll be back in the 80s by this weekend. So uh, yay to Florida weather when it's getting cold everywhere else. And by the way, if you're in the Jacksonville area and need any van uh, accessories, parts, uh, whatnot, everything from solar, batteries, boxes, racks, uh, storage uh, solutions, things like that, check out Freedom Van Go. So if you want it instantly, the prices are really good. Actually, some of the stuff in there was uh, hair cheaper than even online. Um, or is the same price or cheaper. So that's great, they have a rewards program too. So huge shout out to Freedom Van Gogh for having this box in stock. And uh, just be in there, you know, for easy, convenient, don't have to wait on shipping, lead times, you know, three, four, six weeks. Right there on the spot, walked in. The guys uh, even, I was gonna load it up, I carry it perfectly fine, but they're like, no, 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 we got it. And they threw it in the, the van for me. So huge thanks to those guys there at Freedom Van Gogh. So I know it's a little dark in there right now in the box. Um, you can see there is a shelf here. Uh, the box is technically upside down right now, but I'm trying to decide on what side I want to put it on. So I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. And then right here we have uh, accessory panel for the side and for the front and then all my hardware. So I'm gonna figure out exactly uh, what side I want to put this on. I believe you can swap the door around so it will open the way, uh, the direction I want. So um, we'll see. I'm gonna see uh, exactly where I want it, what side. I'm thinking I want it on the driver's side because this one I'm not gonna open as much. And uh, I'm not gonna have much weight in there, obviously. Like these racks are supposed to only hold around 100 pounds or so, I believe. Um, <clears throat> just some, you know, helmets and a few tools and, and things you need on the road. So. I'm gonna get working on this and I'll uh, catch you guys once I finish up. Well, as you guys probably can tell, it's the next day. Uh, van's in a different spot. Uh, we got the box up. I actually ended up making basically a template out of cardboard and drilled holes in the box because they weren't lining up uh, on the Nevada rack. So, uh, it's just the easiest way to go. And then, I didn't have a long wrench, so I couldn't reach the bolts over on this side over here, closest to the door, to tighten it. So I ended up uh, 
basically putting the bolts onto the rack prior and actually put nuts behind them um, and then put the box on and then another uh, washer and nut to hold the box on so came out all right still got to vacuum it out but you can see I put caulking over all the holes uh, it comes with these rubber stops but I put caulking because these are tend to fall out a little easy so I threw threw some caulking on there to seal them right here is original hole that I drilled that actually didn't work out so I have sealed that there's caulking in there and then as you can see I plastered these with caulking so overall it looks pretty good I'll step back and show you guys but can't really have any complaints looks pretty good uh, Brittany you want to close the box up and show them you don't have to close the actual handle but just uh, close the door so yeah the uh, backwoods adventure mods box is it's pretty legit so it has the front panel right here that you can attach items to just like the owl box but then it actually has a second one right here on the side so as you can see good clearance where I placed it and we're gonna put probably my axe here um, probably and then uh, on the front maybe a shovel and then we got enough space up there to, to put a roto pack or two depending on the extension and then on this side right here we have it open and free for two uh, one-up bike racks our uh, bike carriers so we're gonna do them vertically two of them so we can put our e-bikes because our e-bikes are very light so our e-bikes are only I believe combined 70 something pounds yeah, right? I thought you said around 80 yeah so I think they're uh, 37 pounds a piece if I remember right or 38 I think they're 38 I think it's 76 pounds for both of them was is uh according to them we actually never weighed them uh, but we did have them on the Travato but we didn't like the uh, tension it was causing on the door because we had them on that rack that says it could hold 100 pounds but it just wasn't solid a lot of plastic thin uh, metal so the one-up uh, bike trays are kind of like the top tier holy grail as uh, most of you guys probably know so we're gonna get two of those they're 260 dollars a piece so you know quick 500 bucks to spend but <laughs> it, it is what it is if you want your bikes we may not get them before we leave on our next adventure which i guess we can get into that here after uh when we finish this but uh so we might wait on them they build up the, the savings again for a bit uh so because as you guys know by the time this video is out uh, Brittany will probably have shared and you see it probably she's got it covered right now on her neck the bandage you'll know what's going on with that so it explains why we've been stuck pretty much in one place all summer dealing with that the terrible medical system here in this country <laughs> and uh, just the wait times and the insanity and of course health insurance which you gotta love you pay for it and it's still horrible but I'll probably make a video about that someday because I'm irate. <laughs> so overall, if you're gonna, if you have the Nevada racks, uh, which I believe are made by Flair Space, uh, the Storyteller Stealths come with them. A lot of people take them off and sell them because they're really hard to get behind, which we <laughs> discovered putting this box on. But they look good. Yeah, they look really good. And if you can buy a used set like we did, we paid 500 bucks, got the, the set, you know really good deal and like i said earlier in the video thanks to uh jim with the gentleman we bought to bought it from uh, him and his wife for hooking us up uh but our recommendation would be to do what we did so as you saw when i was talking earlier and in the overlay video uh put the bolts the nuts and bolts on prior and make basically like little you know pegs essentially to stick your box on and uh I'd recommend doing a template with cardboard or whatever and drilling your holes. Uh, just make sure you know exactly what holes you want to use and measure twice because you don't want to keep drilling holes in your box. Thankfully, I only had to drill one extra hole and it was, just, it was actually because of uh, 
we changed it up what we were doing originally. Um, so that's the only reason we had to drill another hole. So just uh, check your measurements twice, drill once, don't mess up, but definitely do the make the pegs to if you have an evader rack or you can purchase one. So if you have a sprinter van, look in the storyteller group if you're interested in evader racks because people are always selling them. They usually go with a B2 carrier or uh, another rack by the like Gal Vans or Canyon Adventure. So. And 500 bucks may seem like a lot, but uh, go on Google and look up what these actually cost to buy brand new because you might have a heart attack. Yeah, so f these ones you can't get new. Mm -hmm. uh, you can only get them on the Stealth, I believe. They're not on the Flare Space website for sale. You might be able to call them and buy them. I don't know. Uh, but like I said, you can buy them used, even though it's pretty much people buy a Storyteller and get rid of them immediately so they're brand new like these were. Uh, you can get them for a really good deal. And if you're going to go with one of the other brands, yes, you'll be able to access it better. But expect to pay three thousand plus dollars, most likely, or in that range, you know, twenty five hundred to thirty five hundred plus. And um, yeah, overall, backwoods box and Nevada rack, pretty solid. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to give us a big thumbs up. Comment below what you think of our box on the back of our van. We'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel because I feel like we're just endless modifications over here. Yeah, so you know how the YouTube algorithm is. Give us a like and even just write a comment saying hi, hello, say where you're from. Or as Brittany said, if you like how it looks, say, hey, it looks great, or say it looks horrible. <laughs> it won't hurt our <laughs> <Be> feelings. <honest. laughs> but uh, just please drop a comment, because it helps uh, the algorithm, helps us get noticed, and we're trying to grow the channel. Um, and we'd love to just start doing some meetups and stuff, but we need to get a bigger channel, a little bit bigger following before we can start doing stuff like that. So thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see